morning teacups. It is Monday. It's currently 10.37 a.m. and I am going to take you guys with me to Barnes & Noble and possibly Half Price Books. Also, I want to take you guys to this new coffee shop. It's really, really cute. I don't know how much I can actually film in there, but I'm going to try to show you guys around. And also, they have really good caramel macchiatos with almond milk, so yes. Uh, I need caffeine so bad. To go with my reading socks? Yes. <laughs> I think seriously. I, I oh yeah, readers wrap with pocket <gasps> to put your book in? I guess. I mean, it's deep. <laughs> it's a pretty color. Too. Yeah, it is pretty. Spinach and artichoke quiche. What's yours, mom? Broccoli and cheddar. the next day and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at Barnes & Noble and Half Price Books. The first book I picked up is called Fervent. This is a woman's battle plan for serious <laughs> serious, specific and strategic prayer by Priscilla Shire. This is going so well. <laughs> by Priscilla Shire. I actually read this book last year and I really, really loved it. So I'm really glad I have a physical copy. I actually found this one at Half Price Books. So I did save some money on that, which I'm very, very happy about. The next book I got is Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Iaconis. I was originally drawn into this book because of the cover and I looked it up on Goodreads and I saw that it's going to be made into a film. Well, I guess the film is already done because it's coming out in March and the main guy is going to be played by Cole Sprouse and I really, really like Cole Sprouse, especially in Riverdale. So I'm excited to see the film, but of course I wanted to read the book first. Um, so this is about two 17 year olds uh, I believe their names are yep Stella and Will and Stella and Will both have cystic fibrosis so they have to stay six feet apart so with the title five feet apart they kind of start to test their limits because they start falling in love so it says what if they could steal back just a little bit of the space their broken lungs have stolen from them would five feet apart really be so dangerous if it stops their hearts from breaking too oh this sounds so good I saw the trailer for the film and it looks really 
really really good it kind of reminds me of the fault in our stars so I will probably cry a lot <laughs> but I do think that this is gonna be such a phenomenal story the next book I picked up is Goliath must fall by Louis Giglio this is winning the battle against your giants I actually first heard about this book through Sadie Robertson her book is called live fearless and within her book she mentions this book and I am really interested in reading this because I think everyone has like a personal like giant like something that they struggle with whether it be like fear or rejection I know for me personally it is perfectionism I think this book will really help me out with that and the next book I picked up is the cruel prince by Holly black and this is a young adult fantasy book and it is the first book in a stunning trilogy filled with twists and enchantments as one girl learns the meaning of true power. I actually picked this one up because of booktube because I've heard a lot of people talk about it so I wanted to see what all the buzz is about. Then I picked up Passenger. This is another young adult book and this is by Alexandra Bracken. I've talked about this book once before on my channel in a library haul back in October. I never actually got around to reading the book so I found this at half price books and it's a really beautiful hardback edition and it looks brand new and in this story Etta Spencer is a time traveler and she travels across centuries and I've always been very intrigued by time travel so I'm excited to go on this adventure and then at Half Price Books I found the Magnolia story by Chip and Joanna Gaines I'm so glad I found this at Half Price Books because originally this book is $26.99 I got it for $9.99 and I actually just listened to the audiobook of this. It's so good. It's one of my favorite audiobooks. It's actually narrated by Chip and Joanna themselves. And it was kind of like listening to a podcast. And that was the first audiobook that Harold had ever listened to. And he really enjoyed it as well. And we just really love this couple. And we love their show. And their story is so inspiring. And for another nonfiction book, I picked up Preach to Yourself by Haley Morgan. When your inner critic comes calling, talk back with truth. I like how simple and beautiful this cover is. And this says, come learn a simple practice to break free from the lies holding you back so you can step forward into the fullness of life that God has for you. This kind of sounds similar to Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. And I loved that book so so much so I've really been into self-development books lately and I think I'm going to really really love this and the last book I picked up is the life-changing magic of tidying up this is the Japanese art of decluttering and organizing by Marie Kondo everyone's been talking about Marie Kondo lately and I just wanted to jump on board and hopefully this will transform my home transform my life and it says Japanese cleaning consultant Marie Kondo takes tidying to a whole new level, promising that if you properly simplify and organize your home once, you'll never have to do it again. Yes, please. And then I got two Funko Pops. I ended up getting the Hermione Granger cat Funko Pop. I think she's so cute. And the reason why I really wanted her is because she reminds me of Margot. <laughs> you guys know I'm a major cat lady. And then I also picked up this baby Niffler. And I really like the fact that she is a keychain so I can take her everywhere. Um, so I decided to name her Nancy. So that is everything I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I gotta get back to Hogwarts. I gotta get back to school. I gotta get myself to Hogwarts. Where everyone thinks I'm cool.